Stewart said last month there had been meaningful engagement and negotiations between UDA leadership and the international decommissioning body. But clearly not meaningful enough because the IMC says there's no prospect of decommissioning actually happening. A very small number of UDA weapons was decommissioned last month, but that was done without the authorization of the organization's leadership. The IMC says it believes some of those UDA leaders are genuinely trying to transform the organization. The problem is internal divisions mean the pace of change has been far too slow. On the UVF, the report says the organization has made significant progress since announcing in May that it was standing down. At that time, the UVF also announced that it was putting its weapons beyond the reach, but not handing them over. The Secretary of State today told both loyalist groups that simply isn't good enough.